things are about to get real. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, it is going to be a very raw, very real video. Um, it is definitely outside of my comfort zone, but this is what I want to begin doing, is showing you guys the most real part of myself that I can um, in hopes that it will help you if you are about to get on a journey. If you've had a journey, I wanna be real and raw and just like really help you guys out. Um, if you have not seen my um, video on my 100 plus pound weight loss journey, I will link it above. It should come up somewhere here so that you could check it out. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Nisha and I have lost over 103 pounds absolutely naturally. Um, and I've kept the weight off now for almost five years. So this channel is all about helping to educate everyone on what I did to lose weight, weight loss tips, fitness tips, um, and things of that nature. So today's video, I'm actually going to be revealing my loose skin and my stretch marks since losing such a big amount of weight. Um, I don't feel like there's enough videos here on YouTube showing these types of flaws when it comes to weight loss. So I definitely want to put this video out there and to open up any questions or comments that you guys may have. Um, I know that this is a topic that may get some mean comments, but you know what? I'm totally okay with that. Um, I just, again, I just want to be raw and real and that's all I, you know, know how to be. So if you see me looking down, I do have some notes here because there's some things I do want to mention. Um, so again, this is just a warning. I don't want to talk forever. I want to get into this video, but it's a warning. These, this is going to be kind of a little bit graphic. Okay. So before I show you guys my body, which I am wearing a bikini right now so that I can show you guys like all the different areas. I do want to say like, do not let loose skin stop you from losing weight. If I had a choice between having to deal with my loose skin or losing weight, I would definitely choose just dealing with my loose skin and losing the weight because it in no way, shape, form, fashion compares to being overweight and dealing with those health problems, health issues. Like it is, it is just no comparison. I don't think I've ever met anyone who's had a big weight loss journey like me tell me that because of the loose skin, they wish they had never have lost weight. It just, that's not how it is. Like it will not stop you. Do not let it stop you because literally guys, like losing the weight is so much more important for your health and your happiness. Um, so without further ado, I want to show you guys my loose skin. So the main areas that I actually have my loose skin is on my arms and my inner thighs um, and kind of my chest area a little bit. Um, and the biggest place I had it was my stomach, my lower stomach area, which I did have removed in 2016. Um, Dr. Lauren Crawford here in Austin, Texas actually did my procedure and that is all for a different video. If you guys want to know about that and see, you know, pictures and all of that, I can do a completely separate video. So let me know in the comments if that's something you want to see. Um, I did document it and I just have all, all of that uh, content like just on my MacBook, but I will make a video if that's what you guys want. So let me know. Okay. So this is a really weird angle, but I wanted to show you guys my loose skin. So this is probably the second place where I have the most loose skin um, here on my thighs. As you guys can see, if I pull it, it stretches uh, and you can kind of even see like the ripples of it when it goes back. Now, I've always had thicker thighs. I have, I'm not saying I'm the leanest in the world or I'm just like super crazy lean and I have no fat on my thighs, like that's not the case. But as you guys can clearly see, there is loose skin um, from my weight loss. Definitely, it wraps kind of around here. That's why I have to be in this really awkward position to show you guys. Um, but this is where a lot of that loose skin is, as you can see here like I said it wraps and it's like all definitely all in this area and yeah so so for me the loose skin that's on my thighs like it doesn't bother me like a ton um, I do prefer to wear like tights or biker shorts when I'm working out especially if I'm doing a bunch of cardio a bunch of running um, a bunch of high intensity movements like I definitely prefer um, to wear like tights versus like super short spandex shorts or something like that just because I don't like the way it feels like it does move 
Um, I just don't like the way it feels when I'm doing those sorts of activities. Now, if I was just out going out on a regular basis, I definitely have no problem wearing shorts or anything like that. Like I do not care. I don't feel like it's as noticeable because I've string trained so much. Um, I would never get the, get it removed because again, for me, like the scars would bother me more than the skin itself. The next place I want to show you guys where I have, this is probably, I think where I have majority of my skin because when I was heavier, um, I carried a lot of weight in my arms. Okay, so here are my arms by themselves. If I'm not move my hair, if I'm not moving or anything, uh, this scar here is from a car accident like years ago. It's not a part of my journey. So if you're wondering what that is, it's basically a scar from a car accident. So ignore that for the sake of this video. My arms are definitely where a lot of my loose skin lies. This is where my loose skin lies, y'all. Okay, um, I think besides my stomach, my arms were like the second place now where I have the most skin. And I don't know why, I think it's very common. Um, I know for me, when I was at my heaviest, I had huge arms, um, but strength training has helped a lot. As you guys can see, like you can see my muscle, but I still have the loose skin. Now, if I am just, relaxing my arm like just hanging out you can't really i'll even scoot back you can't really like notice it but then like the second i like pull it and show people they're like oh my gosh like i didn't even realize that like you know and it's like yeah it's there it's hanging out you know <laughs> it's hanging out there but you can't really like tell a ton unless unless like i said i show people that's when you can actually like see it you know over here you can't you see that like I'm pinching and I can't really grab nothing but here oh let me tell you this I, I really credit that to strength training like honestly my shoulders my all that is strength training now I want to quickly touch on my chest area my breasts now I've never had double D's I've never had huge boobs even when I was bigger but they were definitely a lot more filled out than they are now um, but I definitely have loose skin here on my chest area now. Make sure the the boobage doesn't come out here. Um, but I definitely have loose skin from where I used to, I guess, have more fat in here. And so, of course, I don't feel like it's as dramatic. I've seen some um loose skin here that's super crazy dramatic but it's definitely definitely uh still there and my my breasts have been affected by my weight loss journey especially like up here this is a padded swimsuit here so you can't really get the full i feel like feel of how some of my pictures like if i'm wearing a sports bra with absolutely no padding you can see just how flat the boob is here and then there's like a small like cuff down there that's why i think the only surgery i would ever consider is an augmentation but that's it i wouldn't remove this loose skin on my arms on my legs anywhere else that's the only thing i would maybe consider getting i am still cutting a bit and losing more fat so i don't know in the future we'll see but it doesn't really again bother me because there's you can always wear push-up bras you can always but definitely weight loss does affect your breasts okay like i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you i'm gonna be real i told you guys it's gonna be a raw real video if you have good boobs that you like now and you're overweight if you lose weight your boobs may be affected mine were i don't know why i'm like touching myself but yeah so that's the that's the breast situation okay back side area here can you guys see that oh i'm trying to make sure you guys can see there we go so you can see they're light colored let me get closer but they're there um they were here too they're still there i just have now a tattoo covering them but they are on both sides I used to have them on my arms too. Um, that just goes to show that, oh, I have them on my knees. I have them on my knees, hold on. I just remember too when I saw that frame. Now I don't know how much of that is from, well, I did, I mean, my legs are bigger. So 
<laughs> I remember my cousins used to make fun of me for having stretch marks on my on their knees. I just think it's a funny place to have stretch marks. <laughs> we used to we used to clown each other all the time. We were all chubby, and we used to always call each other fat <laughs> and talk about each other. It was it wasn't nice, but so I also had stretch marks on this part of my arm, and if you look closely you can kind of still see the stretch marks I had there. It's just, you have to be close and I have to really like point it out to you because when I lost weight, it, it contracted and it's really not that visible anymore like they used to be. So I don't have them on my butt. I have them, yeah, my arms, my knees. I think the butt stretch marks are mainly like puberty stretch marks, I think, but I don't know. Me personally, my, the biggest place I was affected was my stomach and my back. And as a woman, I chose to get a tattoo as just because on my stomach part right there, like I just wanted that covered. But on my back, they don't bother me. I know that's weird, but I don't know. T to me, they don't bother me because I feel like they're lighter on my back. And then they're also like thinner than they were on the front part of my stomach where they were like a lot thicker. And they were still lighter, but I just didn't, I just didn't like them. If you don't like it, then you can cover it up. You can get it tattooed. If you guys want to see a video, if you don't like it, you can get it covered up. I used to cover my stretch marks up. If you look back um, on my Instagram from like 2015, it was mainly in the cover up. I would use uh, like Dermablend and like other techniques to cover up my stretch marks. So if you wanna see a video on how I used to do that, then let me know and I'll show you. I don't feel like there's any shame in that. I don't feel like anyone should be shamed because they wanna cover up their stretch marks. If you don't like something about yourself, then I feel like you should change it or, you know, cover it up. Do what makes you happy. So that is basically my video for you guys today. Um, I know it was a lot longer than normal, but I wanted you guys to get a really raw, real picture of what weight loss looks like, the aftermath of it. If you want more videos like this, let me know. Like I said, I could do a video on my surgery. I could do a video about more about stretch marks. Let me know what you guys want to see. If you're not following me on my social media, my Instagram is at Nisha Fitness underscore. I'll link it here. Um, I post so much videos, exercise tips, uh, eating tips so follow me there um, please subscribe to my channel if you have not already share this video um, like it give it a thumbs up it really helps me out helps me to grow and to continue making videos for you guys I will be posting now every single uh, Monday and Thursday I'll put on that bell notification so you never miss an upload and I will see you guys in my next video